Okay, YouTube, I hope you all are not tired of me, <coughs> but I'm about to do a review on my hip lipsticks and glosses. And the first thing we're going to start with is the glosses, which is, okay, now I'm going to have to fight with this. Let me take this. Let's see if that looks better. Okay, yeah. Okay, this first one is Pixie. It's um it's a real like snood. Okay, what are we gonna do? Alright, this one right here is precious. And that's what I have on now, but it's weird enough. But a lot of people have said that this lipstick is really sticky. And I find that if you put on a lip balm first, it's not going to take away from the color. And it's going to help it go on smoother. I personally didn't use a balm, lip balm or anything. And I put this on and it wasn't sticky. But what I recommend is you take some and you let it come out some so it could get on to the the dome part when you got it like that put it on your lip right there in the middle and you just smooth it out and it smells so good and then you just the same thing in the middle at the top You don't need much of this stuff, and the color shows up nice, and it's really glossy. Okay, that's precious. Okay, and then inviting, which is like a pinkish, well, I wouldn't even say it's a pinkish brown. All these have a lot of glitter in it, so when the sun hits you, your lips are like... <laughs> The inviting is like a nice neutral, well, dark neutral. It's a dark neutral, but it's a gloss, so it's not going to be like it is on this paper. It's probably going to be more like what on the ends when I spread it out. Let's see. This is an inviting. Right here. You can read it. Okay. <clears throat> on to the lipsticks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we got it. Yeah, chic, chick, um, courageous, <clears throat> moxie, and vivacious. Um, wait, I'll be right back. Okay, I had to go to the little girl's room. But anyway, um, further into, um, these glosses because when they first came out or when people started talking about them on YouTube at first they were saying all oh, these glosses are they are so sticky and they are so um like they're sticky my hair sticks to them of course a lot of glosses your hair is going to stick to your lips because your lips are moist and wet um but a lot of people say a lot of crazy things about the line, which was what L'Oreal hit. And a lot of the people that did that have a lot of MAC. But the thing that bothers me about that is the fact that one of the lip things that I tried from MAC was like the most stickiest, like disgustingest feeling that you could have on your lip. And, like, especially with these new ones, um, the little dazzle glass, they say that those things are so sticky. This, to me, I hate sticky lipstick. I hate sticky, well, not lipstick, I hate sticky glosses, period. And this, if I can move my lips, it's not sticky. Um, maybe... I can give it to them 
when you put it on your hand well when you put it on your hand and you touch it maybe a little tacky but as far as uh, as far as it being sticky on your lips no 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 and these are very matter of fact I should have brought some tissue in here give me a second now I just took off um, the precious just took that off and I'm gonna apply my favorite let's see if I can find it really quick Moxie This reminds me of my Avon. Now, Avon is very innovative in a lot of things, and Mac gets the credit for a lot of the things that Avon came up with first. But I'm not going to go there. Right, my hands clean. But anyway, lip shine. Okay, but anyway. Okay, so this reminds me of Avon's like they have this line it's called ultra shine it reminds me of the, the slim they're slim ones that people say I like Mac but I say Mac is like Avon anyway somebody please correct me if I'm wrong without cursing me out or anything like that but I just feel that um just let me know how long Mac has had the Slim Shines or whatever. But anyway, because um, I know that Avon had the Slim Shines for about two to two or three years now. Mine came out two years ago. Um, let's see. But this this t it feels between just like um, with Avon, it feels like. A lipstick and a gloss. It's really, really smooth and creamy. And all of their stuff smells like you just walked into Fannie Mae. I, I swear. So pretty. Now this is a lipstick that I would put on all day long and just rival in the smell of my lips. Because it smells so good. It probably makes me hungry. <laughs> but that's my review on them. I really feel that a lot of the reviews that were done on them were done on a bias. Well, with um, Mac in mind. That's how I felt when I watched them. Like they compared it to Mac, yet they didn't mention how sticky Mac's lip, when Mac, the lip jellies or whatever, the Sinise, how sticky those are. So, I just felt that they did the, the um, reviews on a bias, and I just wanted to give some truth, or my opinion, to the L'Oreal Hip um, lip glosses, and I really wish that um, I would have, from the reviews, that's why I didn't get them, I thought that they were really, really sticky, and I got them on clearance, and I really wish that I had been buying them because they're not sticky at all. These are really good. And I never got them when they were to buy one. Get one free and I wish I would have. But I think I got some nice colors that go with my skin tone. And they should last me a long time. So that's my review on these. And if you have any questions about them, feel free to ask me. Subscribe to me, rate me, and um, leave me comments. Um, if you have any requests, don't be, don't hesitate to um, contact me. Um, I'm going to show you this one last time. Let's see if I get it up close.
Alright, that was my retarded, <laughs> retarded little thing. Alright, you guys. I love you all, and have a good night. I think I might do, my next one will be on NYX. I think I'm going to go to sleep because it is 1.25 in the morning. Alright, you guys. Bye.